You too, team keep it clean Good morning, hope everybody's day is going good so far uh, I love y'all, I appreciate y'all And thank you for supporting the channel man. Uh, Whether you're new here, whether you're old here Thank you for rocking with team keep it clean And, and I thank you for what you do um, If your day started off rough today You got plenty of time to turn it around Plenty of time to turn it around And if you're watching this at night And your day just has been rough all day That's fine, start over Start over Start over tomorrow. You get to run it back. Um, but anyway, I was a little bit, I had to be patient with making this video because even though the signing of Michael Darius, it pretty much confirmed the status of Hollywood and Miles Boykin. I just had to wait till official word came out on both of them. And it, it was true that they had not returned to practice today, uh, which is unfortunate. Uh, so both of them, of course, dealing with the hamstring like we talked about yesterday and with the hamstring injury, it's very random. It could be for a couple of days. It could be for a couple of weeks. You just, you just never know. It's just all about how your hamstring responds. Uh, but hopefully both of those guys can be back very soon. Now, Michael Darius, I, I knew when I saw this name, like, man, that, that name sounds very, very familiar. Very familiar. Uh, but he was with the Ravens a little bit last year. Um, now, with him, with them signing Michael Darius, uh, he is, of course, a wide receiver, um, but he is, and it's, of course, no disrespect to him. Y'all know that already. Uh, but he is just there to hold it down until those guys get back, until those guys return. Um, because when your quarterbacks are taking reps, uh, when your wide receivers are taking reps, you can't have just a couple of receivers taking all the reps. You try to spread it out because you don't want to overwork anybody. You don't want to overexhaust anybody. You want people that all have their fair share of reps. Uh, so this is why they brought in a Michael Darius. This is why they signed a Michael Darius, because obviously Hollywood is not taking reps. Miles Boykin is not taking reps. And then even today, Sammy Watkins, he's out. So he's not going to be taking any reps. So you need somebody to fill in at the wide receiver spot. Um, hopefully, one thing that I was thinking about with them signing him, uh, it is... It's a little worrisome. Already with the with the hamstring, it's a little worrisome because it's like, ooh, uh, you just don't know how they're going to go. Um, but with them actually signing somebody, even though we know it's just intended to be for camp, um, when they sign somebody to replace somebody else who is not active, who's not participating in, in training camp and whatnot, it can kind of make you wonder, like, oof, is this thing really uh, getting serious? Uh, but at the same time, with it not being a significant signing, um, it, it kind of does ease us a little bit. Or ease, is, it, it eases me a little bit because it lets me know, like, okay, they didn't sign somebody significant. They didn't sign somebody uh, who has experience. They didn't sign a veteran guy. They signed somebody who's, again, m most likely going to be just a camp body. So that, should, that lets us know that they expect them to be back uh, before training camp is over, obviously, before the season starts, obviously. Um, so we'll just have to continue to see how that goes. Now... Whew. With every signing, especially during this time, Ravens have 90 men on the roster. They signed Michael Darius. That put them at 91 men on the roster. With every signing, you somebody got to go. And unfortunately, it was undrafted rookie free agent from a couple years ago, uh, Chauncey Rivers. Now, Chauncey Rivers was a guy who... A lot of people had high hopes for. I remember when uh, we first watched film on him, when the Ravens first signed him, um, a lot of people, they loved Chauncey Rivers, loved him. Uh, and they were hoping, like, they were like, hey, hey, we, we got one. We got one with Chauncey. This dude could be something special with the Ravens. He is a little bit raw, but him being with the Ravens, especially uh, with Wink and company, uh, he could blossom into something serious. But... Unfortunately, that uh, relationship, at least for now, it ain't over till it's all the way over. But at least for now, that relationship has come to an end uh, And the Ravens. In order to create a roster spot for Michael Darius, they had to waive uh, Chauncey Rivers. And, and another thing that I think had an impact, um, it's all about the numbers game. It's all about the numbers game. One thing that I think had uh, a couple of things I think had an impact on that. It's obviously the signing of Justin Houston. Um, and they said that he uh, he's going through the whole vaccination process and whatnot, and then he should be out there with them soon. Um, and also the signing of defensive end Chris Smith. 
Uh, so it, it started to get a little bit crowded there. And of course, with Justin Houston, you know, he is a obvious lock to make the roster. Um, and that's a pass rusher. So one, one pass rusher just had to go. Uh, and unfortunately, it was Chauncey River. So hopefully he can catch on with somebody else. Hopefully he can uh, get in somebody else's training camp and really make uh, a big impact. Now, uh, other news, which was very um, interesting. And I was happy for him because he just he, he hasn't been around. We drafted him a couple of years ago, but he just he hasn't played. He hasn't really hasn't been out there like that. And that's Eamon Marshall. Eamon Marshall, they said he got activated off the physically unable to perform list, off the pup list. And I was like, okay, go, go ahead, Eamon Marshall. Um, big cornerback, uh, physical cornerback from USC. Uh, and re remember his story, he got drafted while he was in the middle of watching Avengers. Still was at the movie theater watching Avengers. I think it was Endgame. And he got a call. He was like, hey, do you want to be a Baltimore Raven? And he's like, hold up, hold up. Let me see what Thanos is getting ready to do. Okay, I, yeah, I'm, I'm good now. Let's get it, man. And and it happened. So I, I'm, um, I'm, I'm happy for him that he is back. He's back because 2019, he didn't really get anything. And of course, last year, he didn't play. Uh, so this year, he has a big opportunity. Now, he is up against a lot. He's up against a whole lot because... He has just he has so much in front of him. It is going to be extremely hard for Eamon Marshall to make the roster. Extremely hard. Um, because, again, you go through just the top four cornerbacks alone. Uh, you have Humphrey, Peters, Tay-Tay uh, and Jimmy Smith. So those four are locks to make the roster. Then you have an Anthony Averitt. Anthony Averitt. I think he's making a roster. I know some people see Anthony Averitt as possible trade bait. I really hope he makes the roster. I, I, I want Anthony Averitt to be here. Um, then you got uh, Khalil Dorsey. Uh, you have uh, the Madden guy. The guy is six foot four. He's just, and he's fast. I think his last name is Chris Westry, I think. Oh, I think I, I messed up his, uh, his first name. I forgot what his first name is. But anyway... Um, he got a lot in front of him, Eamon Marshall. So it's going to be uh, definitely an, an uphill battle. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, also, uh, I know with Ben Cleveland, um, I there was a lot of people that I talked to about Ben Cleveland. And a lot of people said the same thing when they initially saw him without the pads on. They were like, oh, man, Ben Cleveland, he looks a little bit stiff. Looks, looks a little bit stiff out there. Uh, and I know one of my guys said, Hey, he might have to, uh, take, um, he might have to take ballet to get that footwork right. Uh, but then when them pads came on, things got a lot better. So Ben Cleveland, I guess he's just one of those guys. He needs that physical activity to really show his stuff. Cause they said he was knocking people around yesterday. Um, and he was doing his thing and somebody else uh, who was doing the same, was Ben Mason because Ben Mason has been he's been a bit quiet we haven't heard too much about him uh so far throughout training camp but they said that he when them pads came on oh yeah he started showing out so shout out to Ben Mason I do still think that uh Ben Mason is going to be a stash candidate um because I I just don't see them keeping two fullbacks on the roster and I know he's a fullback slash tight end but he's a fullback and I, I just I, I don't see them doing it but, hey, we got, what, about a month uh, to see what the Ravens do with their roster, how they go from 90 men to 53. So that's going to be it's going to be crazy because every year um, there's always somebody. It's a, it's a few shockers here and there. Recently, it hasn't been too many shockers, but it's always a, a few shockers here and there uh, to people who they keep, to people who they let go. Um, so we'll just we'll have to ride it out and see. But anyway, team, keep it clean. Uh, I love y'all. I, I appreciate y'all. Like I said, man, if the day started off rough, that's fine. You can bounce back. Bounce back. Don't let one person or don't let one situation, don't try not to let it ruin your whole day. Sometimes, depending on what the situation is, it can weigh heavy on your mind. And you could be like, oh, my goodness, I can't believe this happened. I can't believe this person did that. I can't believe I messed this up. I can't believe this went down. I can't believe it. 
But as much as you can't believe that something bad happened, you can believe when something good happened. So try to focus on the positive. Y'all stay up. Keep your heads up. I love y'all. And we out.